Welcome to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. We are so glad that you get to hang out with us, but more importantly, that we get to hang out with you. And boy, do we have something exciting for you today. I have a pot in my hand, and this is a very important pot because we're going to be ministering about this and how this is so significant and important for you. I'm telling you, you absolutely totally don't want to miss this program because it will change your life and absolutely open up your eyes to see some ways that God has miracles for you in very common things. And mom, one of the ways that we are so thankful for God's presence in our life is through our partners. You bet. And partners have been a blessing, some for many, many years, Sarah. Decades. (laughs) Exactly. Decades, mom. Some, maybe in the last 10 years, some just very recently, but Mm -hmm. they are a blessing. And I love praying for partners every day. Yeah. That's a special time of my day. Totally. When I get up in the morning, mm-hmm. I pray for partners mm-hmm. for their day early. Yep. Early. Yep. And Sarah, I love this mm-hmm. because there really is a miracle in the pot. Mm. <laughs> you know, when you think about, well, what's a pot? But today you're going to see what wonderful things God can do with the pots that are in your house. Hmm. I mean, we think, oh, well, you know, I've got these pots. Uh, I cook with them. Mm -hmm. I do all these things. But your miracle is in your pot. And you're watching and you're saying, wow, I could sure use a few miracles. Well, this is your day. So you don't want to miss one piece of this program because it's a revelation. I've never taught it on television before. This is so new and so fresh, and Sarah feels the same way, Mm -hmm. and we've seen some breakthroughs and miracles happen in our own lives, and we'll see them happen in your life too. So when I hold this pot up, I want you to think of the pots that are in your house, but I want you to think also, "Mm, in my pots is a special miracle, Mm -hmm. a special miracle. You will never be the same. This is a very, very important revelation for you today. You cannot miss it. Now, just ahead, I'm going to continue and Sarah's going to continue. And we're going to be praying for miracles today. Mm -mm -mm. So that's important. You be thinking of what are some miracles that you need in your life. Do you need a physical miracle? Do you need a financial miracle? You say, I need eight or 10 different ones. Well, I believe There are eight or 10 different pots with miracles for you. So just ahead, we're going to continue. But watch this just for a moment here because it will encourage your faith to believe for the miracles that God has for you today. You're watching this program with a divine purpose. My name is Tim Ross, and I just want to encourage you to continue to support the work of Marilyn and Sarah as they continue to take this ministry literally around the world. The anointing that is on their life will be on your life partnering with this ministry in the word, nations, and healing. I encourage you, your seed, either big or small, helps us to take this message around the world. God bless you. I just want to take a moment here and identify miracles with you because I want you to be specific. Feel free to call us with your miracle need. You know, you may say, I need healing. I need finances. I need a relationship miracle. That's why we have a phone, not to counsel, but to take your prayer needs. Or you can leave them on the website. I don't want to just talk miracles. I want you to receive the miracle working power that Jesus promises us. And I want to share some things about the pot. I know Sarah does too, because over in second Kings four, if you look at this account, this woman was desperate for a miracle, more desperate than you are. You say, I don't think anybody could be. Now, wait a minute. Her husband was dead. She had two sons and no money and her sons are to be sold into slavery. That's desperation. I don't believe you're sitting out there thinking, oh, my kids are going to be sold into slavery. They might be slaves to sin or some junk and trash, but she faced a crisis. And I like what she did, Sarah. Mm. She went to Elisha. Mm. You know, you can go a lot of places and not get help. We need to go where God is, Mm -hmm. where his word is, where they will pray and believe God for you. So she went to Elisha and she told him this problem. And she said, you know, my husband served God. 
He really served God. He was faithful to serve God. And here I am in this mess. And I think sometimes I can think that way, and perhaps you too. When you're in a mess and you think, well, God, you know, I tithe. I pray for the sick, you know, I go to church, I read my Bible, I speak the promises, and I'm in the worst problem I've ever been. Where are you? Mm -hmm. And I want you to know he is there, and he does give a revelation of how to see the miracles come. And of all things, he does it through the pot. Right, and Mom, I love this because God is so, so practical, so down to earth, just where you live. You know, I think about the pots in my cupboards. You know, I think about, I got my little pasta one, you know, make the soups in it. I got the ones right. I cook the chickens in, you know, and I got all these different ones. I made oatmeal yesterday in one of the pots, you know, Reese boiled some eggs, you know, all these different pots. So common. I don't even think twice right. about them unless they're dirty, you know, and I've got to wash them again. I don't think oftentimes uh, that God, we don't think God sometimes uses the common things to do something supernatural. And yet that's so true. He is using common things to do supernatural uh, miracles in your life. And just ahead, we're going to show you some very specific and encouraging ways that God is using the common things in your life to bring miracles. But right now, I want you to watch this very encouraging testimony, demonstration of God's power in Israel and also Jordan. Maryland's 13-day trip to Israel and Jordan in the fall of 2005 was filled with incomparable spiritual significance. Biblical sights, miracle healings, powerful teaching, audiences with heads of state, and dynamic ministry. Most ministry trips to the Holy Land inspire the soul and stir the spirit. This trip did so much more. Throughout this tour, God demonstrated the unifying power of His love. Muslims, Jews, and Christians were standing side by side, praising God. A hotel ballroom in Amman, Jordan, became a showcase for miracle healings and salvations. The combined attendance for the two citywide meetings exceeded 4,000. During the sessions, over 500 accepted Jesus as Lord, mostly teens and young adults, in a predominantly Muslim country. That doesn't include those who received the baptism of the Holy Spirit during Maryland's meetings in Amman, which is truly a miracle since so little is known about the baptism by people living in that region. Maryland's private audience with King Abdullah II of Jordan was truly an answer to prayer. She made friends with members of the underground church in Syria and hosted a ministry training school, each event spiritually significant in its own way. The meetings in Amman went better than anyone could have imagined. After Marilyn taught on Mark chapter 5 and the woman with the issue of blood, she gave an invitation for salvation. It was amazing how powerfully the Holy Spirit moved among the crowd. Later, the travelers prayed over everyone who attended. The salvations were indeed awesome and helped prepare everyone's heart for a mighty outpouring of God's miracle healing power. A Muslim woman, blind in one eye, received her sight. A woman with shoulder pain for 12 years was delivered from pain. One of the travelers suffering from deafness in one ear had his hearing miraculously restored. A woman was pain-free in her ankle for the first time in four years. An accident victim who had suffered two broken knees was able to bend them for the first time in three years. A local pastor was delivered of pain after a knee injury. A woman unable to sit without pain for 10 years is now pain-free. One of Maryland's priorities has always been to train Christian leaders whenever she travels overseas. During this trip, Pastor Dikrin Salbashian, a key pastor influencing the region, hosted Maryland's ministry training school in Amman with dynamic results. More than 200 Christian leaders attended from churches throughout Jordan. Maryland taught on breaking generational curses. Afterwards, she and the travelers laid hands on everyone who walked through a prayer tunnel for increased anointing in their ministry. Throughout the tour, Maryland taught the travelers at the very sites where Jesus instructed his disciples, including the Sea of Galilee. As you can imagine, any trip to the Holy Land is special, yet this trip surpassed expectations. 
Maryland's meetings with high-ranking political leaders was an answer to prayer. Throughout the tour, Marilyn and the travelers walked in Jesus' footsteps, heard God's word in the actual places it was first spoken, and ministered the power of the gospel to hundreds who were healed, saved, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Lives throughout Israel and Jordan were changed as Jews, Christians, and Muslims came together for one purpose, to see God glorified in the Holy Land. It's always so encouraging to see what God does around the world because that encourages you for your life, what he can do in your life, that nothing is impossible. And, you know, we're continuing to do a teaching today on on how God uses common things like pots to do supernatural miracles. And I believe each of you watching today, you have a, a need for a miracle in your life. So please get on the phone, drop us a line on the website. We want to pray for the needs in your life, the very specific needs that God would answer those needs in, in very supernatural, miraculous ways. But mom, there's a great illustration of, of common things being used in supernatural ways that you've been talking about. Second well, Kings. Second Kings 4 mm-hmm. gives the how-to for a miracle. And I love this in the Bible. It doesn't just say, here are miracles. It says there's a how-to. There's a process. Yeah. And so this process is very important to you. Because the widow comes with a desperate need. She has, you know, wow, you know, she, her husband is dead. She's in a section of her life that she has two sons that are to be sold into slavery. Mm. So, you know, difficult time. She goes to Elisha and he says to her, which, you know, I'm sure rocked her boat. Well, what do you have in your house? What do I have? I'm, it's not what I have. I don't have anything. I'm coming to you to see what you have. But that's not the way the miracle works. So watch very closely because you're needing a miracle in your life, probably more than one. So he says, what do you have in your house? Your house. She said, well, all I have is a little jar of oil. So he asked her what she has in her house. Then he says, Go borrow pots, pots, pots from your neighbors. So what's he saying? Your miracle is going to come half from what's in your house and half from what's outside your house. Mm. What is in relationships? Because if she didn't have any nice relationships, she's not going to be able to borrow any pots. Well, if you're going to neighbors to borrow pots, you know, you're not going to get just one size pot. You're going to get a lot of different sizes because neighbors have different size pots. And maybe they say, well, I got a big one. I'll give you, loan you a big one. Mm-hmm. I got a little one. I've got a huge one because I love you. I want you to have help here. And so it's what's in your house. That's half your miracle. What's in your hand. And the other half is what's outside your house. Wow, this is really cooking. Wouldn't you agree? So just ahead, we're going to see how the miracle comes together. But watch this. But just ahead now, remember, your miracle will work. I'm Pastor Mari Davis from Cornerstone Church in Nashville, Tennessee. Can I talk to you for just a moment about your ability to partner with Marilyn and Sarah right here in this ministry? The power of partnership is incredible. The ability to take the gospel around the world when you can't personally go is something you possess the power to do. Through their books, through the internet, through their travels, through the television ministry, they tirelessly travel and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. There are so many ministries that vie for your attention that you have to make a decision. Do you want to be involved in a ministry where lives are being changed, souls are being won, Eternity is being stored up in heaven. When we stand at the throne of God, those people that we've been involved in bringing to Jesus Christ will be the crown that God gives us. It's the heart of God. It's the heartbeat of the Father. It's the passion of Jesus Christ. And it ought to be the purpose of our lives. You can partner with this ministry and literally go where you have never gone before. I want to encourage you to do your very best. 
The information is on the screen and available to you on the internet. Do your very best to serve God by partnering with ministries that are incredibly fruitful. I have known these people for quite some time, and I believe in them with all of my heart. Join me today in partnering with this ministry, and I think you'll discover an eternal reward. Miracles start with team faith, really. When you look at this wonderful miracle, which has been recorded for over 2,500 years and really helps us, we see where the woman had just a little bit in her hand, a little bit of oil, a big problem, both of her sons to be sold into slavery because she didn't have any money to pay the debts. Oh, her husband is dead. Everything looks desolate. And yet when she goes to the prophet, he gives her the way, the process to get the miracle. So it's not only her oil, it's inside her house, but also it's outside her house. He said, go get your sons to borrow vessels, not a few. In other words, get ready for a big miracle. Don't get a few. That's a little miracle. Get a lot. So she goes out. And he, I think the sons did it. I don't really think she did. And they borrow all these vessels, my goodness, of all different sizes, because you know how people would be. And so they get all these vessels. Oh, this is wonderful. And then she begins to obey, and she has this oil, and she begins to pour the oil, only she still has enough oil for this vessel and enough oil for this vessel, and enough oil whew, for this great big vessel. And this is the way partnership is. It starts with Sarah and me having faith <laughs> for a little, and then God bless our partners who give all sizes of gifts and commitments on a monthly basis. Some are smaller, some are bigger, Thank God some are huge, some are middle size, but they are a part of the miracle. Partnership is what brings the miraculous. And you need a miracle. You need a miracle. And I want to encourage you to become a partner today to Sarah and me. I want you to call in right away and say, I want to be a partner. Because when you think of the people that we reach Oh, wow. Every weekday. It's beyond my comprehension. We reach over 2 billion people every weekday. People in Israel are watching us. People in Pakistan are watching us. Why? Sarah and I, with a little bottle of oil, we could never do it. <laughs> we have all these partners. And they become a part of a miracle that is reaching the world. Wow. Have you called in? Have you become a partner? There's so many sizes that you can become a partner and be blessed and receive a miracle in your own life. In January 2010, the nation of Haiti was struck an unimaginable blow. A 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck 10 miles from the capital city of Port-au-Prince. More than 230,000 people were killed. Millions were in need of medical attention. The disaster has left the nation reeling and the people needed our prayers and our support. Marilyn Hickey Ministries and Saving Moses sent financial support into Haiti to help wherever the needs were the greatest. Our support provided water, food, medical services, supplies, and shelter for the millions of displaced and wounded. In July 2010, Sarah and her Saving Moses team returned to Haiti to see firsthand the progress the people have made toward rebuilding their lives and country and to see how the aid we sent has made a difference. Saving Moses worked in conjunction with International Child Care, ICC, which operates several medical clinics in Haiti. The money you sent to assist in this crisis went to help with immunizations, food, water, and other aid. The team set out by plane for Cap Haitian, the area around which one of ICC's health clinics is located. But in Haiti, nothing is easily accessible. After a few hours drive on a rough dirt road, Sarah arrived at the clinic in a northern village not directly affected by the earthquake. There, kids and pregnant moms are getting wellness care and immunizations. Haiti has one of the highest infant mortality rates in the world, and the average mother has seven children in her lifetime. 
infant mortality has decreased in this area thanks to the great care the various medical clinics are providing. While at the clinic, Sarah saw a little girl, about four years old, who was dropped off by her mother and left alone to receive treatment for a burn she received on her hand from falling into a boiling pot of water. Sarah prayed with the distraught mother whose little boy is fighting typhus but not getting any better. Several hours and river crossings later, the team arrived in Jolly True, a very remote area not directly affected by the earthquake. There, one dedicated nurse is helping over 12,000 people in the area. The clinic there has a medical dispensary, provides immunizations, and has a counseling center for AIDS patients. The ICC headquarters at Grace Hospital in Port-au-Prince suffered damage in the earthquake and one whole section is unusable. The hospital sets up tents outside where moms can bring their babies to receive five different vaccinations. Some of the funds you gave to Saving Moses helped with this life-saving care. This little baby 16 days old here to get their vaccinations. This is this mom's first baby and uh, she's coming here because she can receive free, free medical care for her baby. And uh, she's a new mom with a 16-day-old baby. Oh my goodness, takes your breath away. While at the hospital, Sarah met a woman who was caring for her niece's baby boy. The mother, who was only 12 years old, was hurt in the earthquake and needs help caring for her baby boy, Edison. The Saving Moses team visited a few tent cities where the displaced Haitians live. In one of the tent cities, Sarah met a precious little girl named Love. Love, who had never seen a light-skinned person before, tried to scratch the white off of Sarah's arm. Sarah got to do some hands-on care of children. Walking through the various tent cities was surreal at times. So many people with no idea what the future holds for them. The simple yet profound ministry opportunities Sarah had were intense. The incredible work of ICC is making a profound and positive difference in the lives of so many people in this still broken land. The presidential palace is in ruins just like the rest of the city. But the joy of childhood is hard to suppress as children climb on the Haitian Statue of Liberty. Hope persists and we are making a difference. Hi, my name is Joan Hunter of Joan Hunter Ministries. I've known Marilyn for over 40 years. It's hard to believe that I've known her that long. So I consider her a friend, but I also consider it an honor to be a partner with Marilyn and Sarah. And what's so awesome is as I have partnered with them for many, many years, over 15 years, that God has blessed me. God has blessed my finances. But as Marilyn and Sarah go around the world, whether together or individually, the finances that I give into this ministry, I reap in the blessings of God. And what's so awesome is that you can become a partner with this ministry. You can see and actually have a part in going around the world. Many of you have wanted to go around the world. Many of you have wanted to go to Pakistan or Costa Rica and different places like that. This is your opportunity. Don't miss it. When I remember what God did in Haiti, it totally encourages my heart. But what encourages me even more is seeing God move in our partners' lives and seeing Him anoint their lives for miracles and supernatural things in their life. And you know, you may be watching today and we have all these pots up here, big, little, medium sizes, and they all represent partnership. And I want to encourage you, each of you watching right now, you all, each of you, have needs for miracles in your life. Some of you have a financial need. Some of you have an emotional need. Some of you have a healing need. Every one of us, we need miracles in our life. We need God in our life. And partnership is one of the principles that God uses to activate His miracles in our life. And so if you haven't called yet and said, yes, I want to be a partner, get on the phone right now. Call. Say, I want to be a partner to Marilyn and Sarah. And we want to initiate that partnership with you as well, that we can be partners in your life for God to bring the supernatural, for God to bring miracles, for God to bring supernatural results and answers to prayer, just like this lady. So get on the phone, call right now and say, yes, I want to be a partner. I want to see the anointing flow of God into my life, into my circumstances, into the entirety, all of my finances, my health, everything. I need God's presence. We want to be your partners today. So get on the phone or get on the web because, Mom, I know that partnership is not just a good idea. Partnership is a God idea. It's a God idea. Yeah. And when you become a partner, you become a part of a miracle for yourself. Right. Because 
when they closed the doors, he said, close the doors yeah. and let you begin to pour. Mm -hmm. And so they closed out the unbelief mm -hmm. because unbelief says, oh, well, it won't work. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the use? Let me tell you, when you become a partner, the anointing that's on the partnership of that head of that ministry comes on you. Now, it really does. So when she began to pour the oil behind the closed doors, closing out the unbelief, can you imagine as she and her sons watched and each vessel began to be full, but the oil didn't run out until all the vessels were filled. And I believe there's a special anointing on partners that comes from being a partner to this ministry. Oh, and imagine what can happen with all the people who hear and see Jesus, but also because you've sown in it. See, God makes you a part of the harvest. That's what's so key in this. So you need to pick up the phone. You need to get on our website and say, I want to be a partner. And maybe you can be a partner of this size. Or maybe you can be a, a larger partner of this size. But remember, the miracle still came. The vessels were still filled. Maybe you're saying, Whew, I can be a monthly partner of this size because I need big miracles. Because you see, it took the inside what she had and the outside what they had to bring a miracle that not only saved this woman and her sons from bondage, slavery, but it hit the whole village. <laughs> everybody got a miracle. When you become a partner, everybody gets a miracle. So today, you just must call. Get on our website. You must be our partner. We've been talking about basically the power of partnership by using this illustration of pots. And today we want to invite you to become faith covenant partners with us today, right now. This principle, supernatural principle of partnership is available. And for you today, if you pick up the phone, call right now, we can become partners with you to see God activate the miraculous and the supernatural in your life. So get on the phone. Call right now, say, yes, I want to be a partner, or get on the website. We want to see the miracles of these pots and all this stuff begin to be activated in your life even now. You know, it's time for you to connect. Some of you are disconnected. And today, as you've watched this program, you said, I need to connect. This ministry is really shaking the world. And I need to connect because that anointing that's on them is going to come on me. I need to be a faith covenant partner. So connect right now. Call in and say, I'm a faith covenant partner. 